In this video, we will be learning about a very important cube root. Okay. And in this video, we will be learning the best methods of finding the cube root of any five digit number or any six digit number in three seconds. Okay. Now let us get started. So the cube of the number one is equals to one. The cube of the number 2 is equals to 8 and similarly the cube of the number 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are respectively 27, 64, 125, 216, 343, 512 and 729. Also the important thing is, also the important thing is the unit place of cube of any number ending in 1 Okay, let it be 31 or 731 or 9731 doesn't matter. So the unit place of cube of any number ending in 1 is always equals to 1. Okay, similarly, please focus upon the unit place only. So the unit place of cube of any number ending in 2 is always equals to 8. Similarly, for 3, the number is 7. For 4, the number is 4, 5, 6 will remain the same, 5 and 6. For 7, the unit place of the cube will be 3. For 8, the unit place of the cube will be 2. And for the number ending in 9, the unit place of cube will always be equals to 9. Okay, You have to remember this at any cost and then only we can proceed towards finding the cube root of any 5 or 6 digit number in 3 seconds. Now the best way of learning mathematics is by solving a lot of questions and we will be solving a lot of questions in this lecture. Okay, so now let us get started. So the first question is cube root of 24389. Now the unit place here is 9. Now let us check when do we get the unit place equals to 9. So here it is. The unit place equals to 9 happen when the unit place of the original number is equals to 9. So this will be a 2 digit number and we are going to write a 9 over here. Okay. And now we discard the last 3 digits of this number and we consider the other digits. And now the number that remains is equals to 24. 24 lies between 2 and 3 and hence the tens place will be 29 which simply implies that 29 cube will be equal to 24389. Now let us move on to the next question. So over here the first step is always focus upon the unit place. The unit place here is equals to 3. Now search for the unit place over here and the unit place equals to 3 happens only in one case and that is when the unit place of the original number is equals to 7. So we will put a 7 over here and then we will discard the last three digits of the number 50,653 and now we are left with 50. Okay, And 50 lies between 27 and 64 so that means the number lies between 3 and 4. And hence the tens digit will be equals to 3. Now let us check out the next question. 148,877. Okay. And we have to find the cube root of this number. So again this will be a two digit number. And because it is a 7 over here. Now let us hunt for this number 7 in the unit place. The number 7 in the unit place happens over here. So the unit place will be equals to 3 so we will write a 3 over here okay and then we will discard of the last three digits of the number and we are left with the number 148 now 148 lies between 125 and 216 which simply implies that the number will lie between 50 and 60 and hence the tens place will be equals to 5 and hence the answer is 53 okay now let us move on now the next question is 357911 okay and the first step again is search for the unit place the unit place here is 1 
so the unit place will be equals to 1 okay now discard of the last three digits and we are left with 357 now 357 lies between 343 and 512 and hence pick up the smaller number that is 7 and hence the tens place will be 7 thereby revealing the answer as 71. So that means the cube of the number 71 will be equals to 357911. Now for the next question the unit place here is 4 and the unit place 4 occurs when the unit place of the original number is equals to 4 so we will put a 4 on the unit place okay and then again we are going to discard off the last three digits and we will consider the first three digits only that is 592 now 592 occurs between 512 and 729 pick up the smaller number that is 8 and hence the tens place will be equals to 8 that means the cube root of this number happens to be 84. Now for the next question the unit place is equals to 6. The unit place 6 occurs over here and this means that the unit place of the original number is equals to 6. Now again discard of the last three digits and we are left with 884. 884 occurs to be lying between 729 and 1000 okay so that means pick up the smaller number that is 9 and hence the cube root of this number will be 96 now let us check out last three questions of this video okay and now we are going to solve these questions a tad bit faster because i hope that now you are able to understand the concept so the first question that is the cube root of the number 970299 now 9 over here signifies that the unit place 9 occurs when the unit place of the original number is equals to 9 and hence we will put a 9 over here. Now we will discard of these 3 numbers and are left with 970. Now 970 lies between the cube of 9 that is 729 and the cube of 10 that is 1000. So that means picking the smaller number over here and hence we get that the number is equals to 99. Now cube root of the number 314432. See this unit place over here is 2. This 2 occurs when the unit place is equals to 8 and hence we will put a 8 over here and now discard of the last 3 digits and we are left with 314. This 314 lies between the cubes of 6 and the cubes of 7. So picking the smaller number that is 6, we get the answer that is equals to 68. And now for the last question that is the cube root of the number 74088. Now observing the last digit that is equals to 8. So the unit digit equals to 8 implies the unit digit will be equals to 2. Okay, so we will put a 2 over here and then we discard of the last three digits and we are left with 74. Now 74 lies between 4 cube and 5 cube. Therefore picking the smaller number we get that the answer is equal to 42. Okay. I hope you have understood everything taught in this video. In the next video we will learn how to find the cube root of any 7 digit number. Okay.